Hi there, Mark from UK EDC. Thought I'd give you an update of my EDC bag. Um, it's not the ideal one, it's probably about the best, well, it's the kind of best one I can find at the moment. Not entirely happy with it, I really want something a bit better, but I either can't afford it or I can't actually find the right one. So, what I'll do is we'll go through this one basically. This is a Berghaus 20 litre 24 7. I don't need a massive great big backpack, we're not in the USA, we don't have to carry lots of different things with us, um, tourniquets, uh, weapons of course, we don't need that kind of thing in the UK. So I didn't want to carry too much on me, so I just went for a little 20 litre backpack. So it's got a chest strap as well, I mean I keep this in my car, I take it to and fro work with me. I don't necessarily carry it if I go downtown because I don't really need that much. So without further ado, let's go through what the, back, the features of this backpack are and what we have in there. So on the outside, I have a couple of things dangling off here. Um, that's like a dog tag with my contact number on that. I got that from mydogtag.com. This is a polymath um, tap tag, I believe they call this. Basically, what this is is it's glow and dark material, and it's got signaling devices inside. But it's got my blood group on the outside as well. Um, this is just a little. That's just a little thing with my name and address in there. Should I lose my bag? Uh, what else we've got hanging off this? On this side we've got another little feature from Polymath, this is one of their atom lights, so if I am walking home it kind of acts as a little light but also acts as a glow in the dark kind of little thing as well. And on the bottom of the bag as well, in case I am walking home, I've got one of Polymath's, um, I forget the mic maker this now, a little torch so I'm walking along. This will be dangling on the floor so people can see that I'm actually... Uh, basically we had a bit of snow here earlier on in the year, around about February. It doesn't snow a lot in the UK and we were able to come home. Fortunately I managed to get home, I've got a 4x4. One of my friends lives twice as far away as I do and he had to walk home half the way. He had nothing in his bag, all he had was the clothes he had on his back so he was a bit cold and a bit hungry when he got home. So that's the outsides, the dangly bits, the peripherals. But it's got two external pockets, again I'm not exactly impressed with these. They're supposed to be for water bottles, but things fall out. So what have we got in there? A packet of tissues, always handy to have some tissues on you. And a compulsory bandana. We all know the uses for the bandana. If not, have a look on YouTube. Plenty of people have done videos on these things, so you can use them for 101 different things. Great little things. That's that for that pocket. The external pocket, which is again a, a, a water bottle. I keep a little carrier bag in there from Sainsbury's, just in case I have to do shopping after work. I can nip in the local supermarket and put it in there. Uh, we've also got little bottle of hand sanitizer, just we can keep ourselves nice and clean when we're out and about. And this basically is, um, I have one of those water bottles, um, they're kind of like a double insulated, they look like a bottle, they're really really good but because this is so loose and sloppy it fills out so sometimes I do put that on there, I keep that at work at the moment. And a very very crucial thing to have on the outside of the bag is this, this is one of your tactile pens, of course it is a standard pen, um, has a glass breaker feature on the end there, should you need to break glass. Carry this, um, not as a self defence weapon, I know some people do, it's just in case someone's having a problem, they need to go to their car quick, I can quickly access that, smash the window and let them out. Okay, so that's the kind of outside couple of bag areas. I've also got a slidey bit on the top here, let's have a look what we've got in here. One of Polymath's um, kind of right in the rain kind of style stone paper notepads. Nice to have a bit of pen and paper on you as well as all the your mobile phones etc. Um, some of you may know I'm a metal detectorist and these are a few metal detectorist cards. In case I bump into anyone I can just give them a card so they can contact me. Ah, you see me review this. This is my ProTac PolyTac X, sorry Streamlight PolyTac X. I think this one bangs at about five, six hundred lumens. Absolutely brilliant to keep me back. Again, kept on the outside, so if it is dark. What you want to remember as well, carrying a torch, you should always have one in your pocket anyway, no matter how big or small. You carry a torch if you are stuck in a lift, you drop something in your car, etc. It's not just for night time, also think about using the day. It doesn't weigh a great deal. USB recharge, but as well, I've reviewed this great torch, my EDC bag torch. Also on the outside, a couple of medication things, a couple of anodine, just in case I get a headache at work. A little bit of paracord, just a little tiny bit in there, just in case I see a stray dog or something, I want to tie it up so, or give it to the kennels, that kind of thing. Um, I think a Dextrasol, these are like high energy sweets, again just in case I have to walk home and ditch the car. Um, you see me review these as well, these are my wireless earbuds, uh, they're about 25 quid from Gearbest, noise cancelling, they work pretty damn well, again I've reviewed those, have a little look around my channel, you'll find that, always nice to have some sounds on you. Talking of sounds, I do suffer from tinnitus, so I'm supposed to protect my hearing from loud sounds, so I always carry a couple of earbuds with me. Um, that's a useful little thing as well. I do EDC either a, a Leatherman or a um, 
little pen knife or something, something that's generally UK legal. But this is just like a little Stanley blade, which is in, in, encased in a little housing. I think this is called Uncle Tom's and it's from Screw Top. I don't want to go cutting heavy duty stuff with my main knife while I've got this, another just disposable, disposable little Stanley blades in there. And a roll of duct tape. Now it helps we all know what these are used for. These are used for 101 little things. It's nice to keep one of these in your bags. It weighs nothing. So for the extra kind of features you can get out of a roll of this, you might as well carry that. So that's basically the external flap on the internal. So again, I'm not exactly impressed with this bag, but it's the best I can find at the moment. I just got, I've got another little bag in, another little kind of slot in there. Keep a few little things in there. So again, I've got another packet of ear protectors, uh, some more medication, a bit more medication, five pound note. We're pretty much cashless in the UK now. Um, I've got an Apple Watch, so I use that when I'm at work. Don't often carry that one out and about. Um, got the iPhone as well. Of course, you can do Apple Pay on there and PayPal, and of course your bank cards, but it's nice to have a little tiny bit of cash on you. This is quite a useful little thing as well. I've used it in the past. Keep a couple of these everywhere. UST, I think that's Ultimate Side Vival Technologies. This is basically a little cloth, and when you put that in water, it expands, so you've got a full face thing. Good for medical reasons as well. If you do get like a cut, you can just use that. They're, they're pennies, they're like pound for four or five. You can get these in a lot of places, even Poundland sell these. Nice little thing to keep in there. That's the internal pocket sorted out. Let's have a look in the main things. Now, uh, where should I start? I'm going to start with this. Now this is something, uh, it's an Israeli bandage. It doesn't weigh a great deal. Um, it's also if I'm out and about and something happens to me, but also if something happens to someone else. I was a first aider, I'm going to be a first aider again. I'd rather carry this and not use it than not have it if I see someone uh, in a car crash or someone's been knocked over, etc. So we're not, in the, we're not in the USA, we don't have firearms here, so the likelihood of me seeing someone shot is very, very, very unlikely. We never even hear a gunshot in this country. Um, so to carry that for other people as well as myself, also when I go on a holiday, etc. I carry something like this, or on a UK holiday, I'll carry the bag with me as well. So something useful for other people. This is my personal med kit. I might just go through that one with you in a sec. And my EDC kit. Again, I'll go through that one with you in a sec. What I did, what did happen to me earlier, my wife got rushed into hospital as an emergency and I had to leave work to make sure she was okay. She was in there for absolutely ages and I was bloody starving. So I've actually started to take some food with me now. So I've got a little bag of um, beef jerky. This lasts until 2020, so I'm all right for a couple of years on that. So I've got some food with me. Again, you also remember people got, um, had to abandon their cars and walk home. If you got hungry, I've got a couple of little snacks as well. I've got some hike bars. These are basically the cheap Aldi equivalent of a cliff bar. There's, um, can't quite see, I've got my glasses on, but quite a lot of calories in there, something like five, 600 in a little bar. So a useful thing to carry. And again, talking of calories and walking home, what I've got here, this is a, I think it's an Ocean's 11 or something, some little energy bars from there. And I've got one of Polymath's high altitude Kendall milk mint cake. And this one's flavoured with peppermint flavour, and it's caffeinated Kendall milk cake. So you'll get a lot of um, energy just out from from those little things there. So basically, I live about five six miles from my from my work. I could walk that quite comfortably. Fancy a snap on the way, or God forbid, if someone gets taken in hospital again, I've got a bit of food to chow down on. As I live in the UK, I've got a very, very small umbrella, which I keep in there as well. It's not particularly massive, but it's small, light, doesn't weigh anything. Rains a lot in the UK, especially when you're not expecting it. And finally in the bag, I've got this here. This is a little power bank. It's only a small one because I've got um, USB ports in my car. I've got it at work and I've also got it at home, obviously. So I just carry a small anchor power bank. Uh, I think this is a 2600 size iPhone charging cable and a cable to charge um, USB. So I can charge this one up and I can also charge things like my wireless headphones that I've got now. I showed you earlier. Quick run through on my personal med kit. Don't carry a lot in here, like I say, it's just a small amount, a few plasters or band-aids if you live in America. Some high, um, these are paracetamol and codeine, really, really strong painkillers. I've got some caffeinated gum in it. Another polymaths, they had a little, um, Med kit, the Med C, so I've got a content of those in there as well. A few Gaviscon pills, they're for indigestion in the UK, a mini ouchy kit, some my group of thin. Do carry a splice blanket in the back of there as well. Again, maybe not for medical reasons, but if something does happen, have to walk home in your code, you can always use this as an insulator later. A couple of other things in there, some gloves, a recess mask as well, just in case I do happen across someone who's poorly, I might be able to help them. I'll only get myself covered in snot and 
puke and that kind of thing. So I'm quite happy about someone out, but I don't want to get covered in it. I'm quite a, lot, quite a weak stomach, so hopefully they're going to make it. So just a few little basics in there, not massive. And generally when I go on holiday, I take this as well and just put a few antihistamines in there as well, just to get a bit by mosquito. And finally, my little EDC kit as well. This is a Maxpedition. We all know Maxpedition are a great make. I would, wouldn't mind one of their Mac, uh, EDC bags, but like I say, funds are a bit hard. Uh, I can't really justify spending that much money, even though it's quality gear. So again, this is just a few items. Bear in mind, I do EDC as well. So let's just have a quick look on the outside. I won't take the whole lot. Just got a pen, a Sharpie, an energizer battery. Um, that's for a torch. This is um, Leatherman um, Wave bit kits. So I've got lots of different torques and screwdrivers, etc., in there, and the extender. Uh, another one thing, Polymath used to make these. Don't think they make them anymore. As you can see, I quite feature quite a lot of Polymath products. This is a fire steel, and this little ceramic bit here is used as a knife sharpener. Keep that in the back there as well. Got a little packet of field notes in the back there. A bit lighter, Leatherman PS4. Um, I've also got a couple of uh, cable ties in there. And finally, this is a great little thing as well. This is another Polymath products. I think it's called the Ultimate Minimalist Survival Kit or something. It's basically a tube. Lots of really, really useful things in there as well. So got a bit of survival kit in there, a bit of everyday carry in there, a bit of backup. Sometimes I forget to put my level wave on when I go to work, etc. So I've got a small multi-tool in there, and a cutting tool, obviously, and a few little bits and pieces in case I need them. I think I've got a set of lock picks in there as well. Very, very mini set. It's got like James Bondy kind of thing as well. Quite often, about three or four times at work now, someone's been locked out of their locker, or someone got locked out of the store cupboard once, so just managed to pick the lock of that. Um, technically, it's illegal to carry them, but like I can say, I use them for work, so my boss would back me up on that, he's a good kind of guy. So basically, that's what I carry in my bag. Like I said, we're have a better look at this on the outside now. So it's not ideal, it's not perfect for 20 quid, it's, it's okay. There's not much airflow at the back. It's designed for a little day pack, but I don't carry it everywhere I go. I don't walk around town with it, etc. To and fro work in the car if I go on holiday, I'll tell you something like that. So that's my EDC bag at the moment. I want to upgrade this one hopefully next year, see how funds go. And of course, all the little things I keep in there. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. What would you carry? What am I missing? Is there something I'm missing in here that you could think would be a good idea? Something I'll carry you think superfluous? Something you might want to swap out for something else? Let me know in the comments. Leave me a thumbs up, leave me a like. Peace, you take care of your own world. Now, goodbye, good luck, and have a great 2019. All the best to you. Goodbye now.